Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to analyze San Marino for Eurovision 2022, uh, their national final, uh, Una Voce per San Marino, uh, finished on February 19th. The format was really weird and the whole concept is weird because they accept basically anyone and everyone. Uh, but okay, that's their decision. And the winner is Achille Lauro, who fails to win for Italy in San Remo, but he won here, so it was kind of a second chance for him. But he won with a different song, Stripper. Uh, the song was written by 10 people and you can see them on the screen, I will not read all those names. I don't know what to think of this, like what to expect because San Marino either goes all out crazy or all out basic or is just weird. So let's just see, starting with reaction in 3, 2, 1. Based on the title, I would say it's a crazy one. Uh -huh. Okay, I, I understand what this. I know him from before. I'm familiar with him and his music. Okay, I love Italian language, you all know that. Um, he... Okay. I'm gonna say something. He reminds me of... Moneskin singer. A lot. Physically. Like, they're like brothers. Okay, there's a lot of tattoos. Mm, this two seconds of silence kind of off for me. And these lyrics. Ah. Okay, maybe I don't get the deeper meaning of these lyrics, but I have a feeling another piece of clothes will go off. Okay, people are having fun. That's a weird shot, by the way. I don't know how smart a decision is to send a rock song in Italian after Moneskin. I think it's not. Because people will see this as a... I, I, as I called it. People would consider this... Why would you take this phone? Okay. I'll finish my sentence now. People will see this as a cheap version of Moneskin. Like cheap, you know. A spin-off of Moneskin. Um, so I hope that he will not be seen as a bad copy of Moneskin. Because I know him and he is very eccentric and... He has a really specific personality, so I don't want to see much of these comparisons, but they're gonna happen, so hopefully that will not affect him negatively. Let's get deeper into this and uh, let's see what San Marino is delivering this year and how they can improve this uh, performance, because definitely they can. Let's start with song and lyrics. So briefly about 
the genre i think this is a pop rock entry maybe it could be a punk as well um something tells me it has that vibe and that energy when production is in question i think it's a bit dated um what i mean by that is that it's kind of predictable and the beat from the verses is the same throughout the whole song you can hear it like if you focus really hard like you, you don't even have to focus hard if you just pay attention to it you will hear it and once you hear it it's stuck with you that happened to me um so it's a linear and it's pretty much a few chords again and again um it's not as edgy as I hoped it would be, uh, but it is accessible to the masses, so that is a positive thing. Um, the lyrics of the song, I think that the message is addressing a topic of owning one's sexuality and embodying one's sexual persona, I would say, so uh, because the lyrics are kind of weird, like, I don't understand them, to be honest, that well, uh, but, yeah, mm, there is artistry in there, included, I guess. Uh, my favorite lyric is, no one can judge me, basically because that's one of a few lines that I really understood. Uh, I don't know why he's mentioning Barbie and her 600 horses, like, it's really weird, so if you have any explanation of uh, the lyrics, write that in the comment section as well, because I'm kind of clueless here, what was really the message of the song, so mm, you can help me there. Uh, let's talk about his voice. There is not that much for me to say here. Um, I like his voice, um, I think he sings well, and I actually, uh, I watched his performance uh, of Domenica, that's the song from San, uh, San Remo, and I think his voice was better there, in, in a way that the song let him do more than this one. Uh, this one is completely different, so it's, it's interesting to compare also, but also to say that he has a range uh, he feels comfortable switching even genres and doing multiple things uh, which is really good I like that raspiness in his voice and yes I will say that now uh, he kind of reminds me of um, David Damiano one thing that stuck with me and that I noticed is ah part when he goes really high for some reason uh, it also seems random even though I think it's in a particular like moment in the chorus so it's not spontaneous even though it sounds like that um, it's a cool moment it's catchy like I, I remember it so yeah why not um, backing vocalists in the chorus uh, they just add to this wave of sound um, shouting hey and while he sings all I need is love they're like hey <laughs> so it's kind of anthemic and it wants to be uh, loud and uh, when verses and chorus is in question like his part uh, he sings most of the time by himself at least what I remember so uh, I, yeah I think that he is vocally ready I don't expect uh, mistakes from him that he will deliver a great performance and that's exactly what we're gonna talk about here because I feel he's going to focus heavily on that, so let's check uh, what he can do for the performance and choreography. Okay. Knowing him as an artist a little bit, from what I've seen, I think that I think he has a potential for much more than what we've seen here. Just this, this stage was small and the production was not like on the Eurovision level but I think if San Marino invests in 
uh, the staging and his performance, we can expect something great. Even without the budget, my expectations are that we're gonna get a daring, provocative, uh, unconventional performance. Um, I think the song is making a statement and that performance should follow that. So I can see easily dancers for this song instead of a band. Even though there is that tendency that rock entry must have a band. It's like, of course, if it's a group of people, then it makes sense. But if it's an, a single person singing a rock song, why do we need instruments and people um, there who are playing those instruments? Why do we need a band? Uh, let's introduce dancers instead. I think that would be much more impactful, much more interesting to watch for our us viewers and they can prepare a better performance and use a stage for that. Uh, I can see a few girls wearing minimum of fabric because yeah, that's the message of the song. I can see him doing a reveal, but instead of a prototypical reveal, we're gonna get the real reveal. That doesn't happen often. And I think that with a great staging and his character given a full freedom, I think we're gonna get something really cool. Um, let's talk about the staging because I think they can do a lot with it. So. Uh, let's cover that and talk about styling as well. So, let's talk about styling first. Whatever he will be wearing, that's going off. And, um, as yeah, I can actually see him going even further. I don't know if that's allowed, but I can see him wearing only underwear um i would dress him in something provocative but not as provocative as the dancers i would give something really striking to the dancers to wear so we have that visual impact and i think that he is gonna go naked and also, I see for this song a lot of Pyro. I can see him hopping in the water, uh, getting wet even. So it can be chaotic, but hopefully they will not go as deep into it. It's gonna be either him with a band and nothing on stage, or him with dancers and huge props. I can see like a huge box, glass box, and like imagine Azerbaijan 2013, but with much bigger box, and then just having really cool camera cuts, like uh, camera spinning around that huge box, him and dancers uh, surrounding it, and just dancing to each other, trying to seduce each other, you know, being very sexy and sensual to each other. Um, so that could be a really good moment, I think. Um, I can see mirrors, because I also feel that this, this song is all about, uh, like, yourself, and even maybe being obsessed with yourself, in a way. I don't know, maybe I'm interpreting this completely wrong, but that's what I feel, that this song is really like um, introspective of one's sexuality or sexual behavior or body image, something like that. So they can twist it around that. And so I can see mirrors on stage, him being concentrated on himself a lot. I don't want to have a strip club staging with pole and pole dancers. I think that's that's Austria 2012 again, and no, that wasn't good. So um, let's make it provocative, but something like Siren Song. 
something in that direction, that kind of a performance, that kind of a dance, that kind of, of energy, but in rock package. Okay, let's talk about San Marino qualifying for the grand final. Usually we have one to two rock entries per year. This year we have Bulgaria and San Marino so far. Bulgaria is kind of dated and this is more fresh and more current. And there is always um, a big support for rock entries because they're in minority. I feel that rock as a genre is underrepresented in Eurovision and that's why um, most of the rock entries qualify, not all of them, but most of them. For them it's very hard to qualify, we all know that, and I think that with the right competition and with good neighbors in the running order and lack of rock songs, they can qualify. It will all come down to um, the performance, in which direction they decide to go, is it gonna be a band performance? Because I feel that that then they will get compared a lot with Monaskin. But let's check the Eurovision scoreboard app to see how the song was received in the community. As you can see, San Marino is currently in the lower uh, midfield, so it's not down there, but it's not really high either. Um, there is a possibility, but yeah, it, it's very very hard to predict for this one. What do you think? Do you think San Marino can surprise everyone again and be uh, one of the finalists or you think this is just reserved for a specific few? Um, let me know in the comments what do you think of the song as well. How do you see this performance live on stage? Do you agree with me or you have some other ideas? Everything is welcome in the comment section. I want to discuss and see your opinions and your views. The next video I'm going to do is going to be about Malta, stay tuned, bye!